Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk more about Wonder Woman once again. But before we do, I want to share with you from Mark 10, 27. Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. See, as human beings, we're not going to live forever, right? We're going to die. We can't make ourselves live forever. Death is inevitable. But with God, we can live forever. We'll die, but we can rise again and live forever. So, it's very important for you guys to understand all things are possible with God. That's why I want you guys to trust in Him. And listen, you don't need me to trust in God. You can ask Him, Lord, I want to know who you are. If you want Jesus as a part of your life, just ask him. It's that simple. Let's get into Wonder Woman before we do. It's very important, guys, for me to continue my videos really on a regular and even faster that you can donate to my channel. How you go about doing that? This is how. You go to the About section. You click on that. And in that About section, you're going to see Send Message. You click on Send Message and you ask me how can I donate to your channel and I will give you the details. Because I can't use Patreon and I can't use PayPal and I can't use online methods to get paid because of where I am in the world. I'm in Trinidad and Tobago, which is in the Caribbean. And unfortunately for me, PayPal does not work the way how it works with you guys. However, having said that, now you know how to donate to my channel. Let's get into what I want to talk about with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has had three TV spots put out by Warner Brothers in the last... Mm, less than 20 less than 48 hours okay so the TV spot together came out first and that was a day ago and it's close to 200,000 views already then the second TV spot which came out a couple of hours later was power and that is at 178,000 views already and then just 12 hours ago which was uh, last night Wonder Woman Goddess TV spot came out and it's already 117, 118,000 views in. That's remarkable. That's actually faster than Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which by the way, I'm going in the cinema to see. The reaction to that was, it shows the immense interest in Wonder Woman. Now, Warner Brothers is doing an excellent job in their campaign in that they're not giving away the plot, they're not giving away the major villain. Um... In, in terms of seeing him in his totality, I think they've learned from Doomsday, and I hope they do not spoil that. I hope they don't spoil the main villain for Justice League, which is Steppenwolf. We can see signs, we can get teased about him, but please don't show him. And the same thing for the Wonder Woman movie, in which you can get teased with uh, Ares, but please don't show Ares. That would be stupid, you know. Then why, why am I going forward to look forward to seeing Wonder Woman fight Ares? I don't want to see that. So, my interest is very stoked. If you guys are very interested in Wonder Woman, great. But this is, it's actually getting more and more, there's more and more interest generated with each TV spot. The first one, it didn't even get to, within I think the, 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 the first 24 hours, it didn't even get to 100 million views. I think it was 90 something uh, thousand views. I mean, 100,000 views, sorry. <laughs> the second TV spot got past 100,000 views, barely. I think it was 104,000 views. This TV spot hasn't even met a day yet, 24 hours. And it's already passed 100,000 views, showing you just how much interest it's peaked for Wonder Woman. So Wonder Brothers is doing an excellent job of these TV spots. They're giving little aspects of Wonder Woman, that she's a goddess, that is, she's half human, half god. You know, showing her power and showing her relationship with Steve Tre Trevor. Uh, how she has to be kind of undercover in the man's world. And the other trailers before gave a little bit of her background. The original trailer, the second trailer, and the third and the first trailer really showed interest. And then you had a couple of TV spots in between. Most of the little specks of new material in there. Really spectacular action scenes I've never seen. This is the first... Listen to me carefully. This is the first superhero female-led movie. Catwoman wasn't a superhero, and she didn't have superpowers. She was a hero, an anti-hero. Uh, Elektra wasn't a superhero. She didn't have superpowers. 
Wonder Woman, as her name states, and that the whole movie is after the title, it just like Justice League, which is awesome because you know what the movie's about. It's centered on Wonder Woman. You know, Justice League is centered around Justice League. Suicide Squad was centered around Suicide Squad, right? These make the movies what they are because the titles tell you who the focus the movie is going to be on. And this is very important. The focus is on Wonder Woman. It's not on Ares. It's not on Steve Trevor. It's not on the people or satellites around Wonder Woman. It's on Wonder Woman. Man of Steel was focused on Man of Steel, right? <laughs> so, you know, Justice League is focused on Justice League. So, Suicide Squad is focused on Suicide Squad. So, I love that this movie, the title, everything about it is just right. The only question we'll have is, is it really Gal Gadot who's Wonder Woman in this movie, the actor, or is it Patty Jenkins, who is the Wonder Woman? That's the real question there. On that note, if you guys want to leave your comments in the comment section below, please do. If you're excited to see this movie, please leave it down in the comment section. Also, you can donate or you can share this video to other people. Don't forget to subscribe, but share this video to other people who would be able to donate to my channel. You guys have a great one.